my family, you know, we, we couldn't afford the regular rent. And when they called it, we got a call from here. It was like a blessing from God. It was a blessing from God. And that's us, you know, for example, they have the redevelopment. They wanted, they wanted us to know we're going to move, we're going to stay. We want to stay here. My, my name is Aaron Pineda, and I live here in the Jonah Downs Projects. I mean, this has been like the... I don't, I don't even think words can explain the way I feel about being here. About being here, you know, this, this has been real, real, a real blessing. I mean, even though a lot of people are like, dude, you live in the project, we think you're a real blessing. They're like, oh man, they just don't understand how, how much of a blessing being here is. It's really about the people who have been there for all this time <clears throat> and not been able to enjoy some of the same things that people in other parts of the city have been able to enjoy, but yet has still persevered. And, um, but it's important for them to also benefit from this type of investment that we are proposing for, their, for that community um, and so that they can experience it. And I think that's important because the, people sometimes take that for granted and I think there's a natural inclination when you hear about redevelopment to say okay this is for someone else this is it's about gentrification this is about moving us on and bringing someone else in when it's not the case it's really a different approach to say how do we number one invest in this property to improve it but also invest in the people in such a way that we can see improved outcomes and to provide these young people with a brighter future and with more opportunities and with more resources and with more support. Uh, those things are very important. I think uh, people can take for granted that that's what this project is about. Um, before before um, living here in Jordan Downs, me and my family, we really had no stable location. So like that to, uh, that to how I felt, we you know where, we you know where my family needed you know, a stable place, you know. And you know, and like I said, we were just, just jumping place to place and, and that wasn't cool. You know, and like I said, when they have stuff like this for the community, you know, when they have like backpack giveaways, or, or for example, they have a, you know, they have Mother's Day event. You know, and when they have the Father's Day event, you know, and you know, and like I said, I go to the fatherhood. I go to the fatherhood, so you know, and you know, I've been nominated like, like last, the last was it last year? Last year I got an award for. They're like, who, who, who's most likely to always get up for seconds for food? And they had an award, and they're like, and the award goes to Aaron Pineda. Like, no, I did not get that award. Eh? They give me that award, you know, but you know, like I said, just being part of men around, you know, has helped me, you know, you know, make me, you know, see the way things, a man should see it. Like I said, my, my, my dad was never there, so I never really cared about being a man. What drives me to keep keep on, and I think uh, for me personally, one thing is just when, when I, because I'm so, uh, present in the community. I spend about half my time down in Watts and because I'm engaging and interacting with the residents, that's what, that's what motivates me. When I see young people there, um, you know, uh, walking the community or doing whatever it is they do and talking to them and understanding that this can be a part of a brighter future for them. I just want to be there for them. And I love them so much. I love my family so much. <laughs>